Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you guys all doing? I will get this shared. Oops. Um, while I'm waiting for my friends to show up. Share. Copy link. Don't know if anybody's going to show up today. I know a lot of my friends are at Stamp Away in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, go to Facebook. Go to my group. Let some of my friends know that I'm live. I am live. Paste, post. Okay. And then I'm going to go to chat with Sassy's group and post. See if anybody wants to watch me today. <laughs> if anybody's going to show up today, that is two minutes in. And I'll wait for a couple more minutes. So today we're going to play with the Owl Buddy stamp set by Simon Hurley. I will get my phone down. I will go back to YouTube on my video. I'm hoping that maybe somebody will show up to chat. Maybe. So I will just go ahead and get this video started and maybe somebody will show up. Can we see? Yep, we can see. So today I am going to make a really cool fun fold card that I learned in the, in the Card Makers Success Summit. Oh, somebody is showing up. Yay, finally somebody. Woohoo, I'm so excited. So I'm going to use a different card because when I was spraying, this one got splattered on it. So we're going to do a different card base. So I'm going to set Owl Stamp Set aside. Hi, Ramona. How are you doing? Yeah, I know you live in California, so that's cool. <laughs> um, so I need to do my card base. And what size do I need to cut this down again? I forgot. What size do I need to cut this down? I forgot what size. Oh, my lands. I need to cut this down to... Oh, I need to use a 12 by 12. Ooh, that's what I forgot to do. It's a 12-inch card base. A 12 by 12. See? And I can't find the directions for this. Because I learned how to do this in the Card Maker's Success Summit. Okay. So it's 12. Okay, don't score yet. So we're going to cut this down at 5 inches, right? I think 5, right? Let's see. I think it's 5 or 5 and a half. I don't remember which. Yes, 5. So we're going to cut this down to 5. I need 2 at 5 or whatever. Wow. This 
So I just looked in my email today and I got 18 new subscribers this month. I was totally excited. I was hoping my friend Dawn would show up today. I know she was around. So I'm just going to cut one because we're just doing one card. And then we're going to do some scoring. So we need to score at, let's see if I remember. So I need to score at um, one, three and a half, eight and a half, and then again at 11. Okay. So what did I say? One, right? So there's one. So, and then three and a half. And then eight and a half, right? And then 11. Huh? Cool. 18 more. What's 18 more mean? 11. Okay, so this is the fun fold part of the card. We got that. Oh, we're going to need this so we can burnish our fold lines. But we can put this down. Oh, oh yeah, on the 18, yes. Oh, somebody else came in. Could it be my friend Tony, maybe? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I can only hope that maybe somebody else will show up or more people, but I'm not expecting too many more to show up because of stamp away going on in Ohio. But, okay. Then we're going to fold these two back. So this is called a double Dutch gatefold card made from a slim line, 12 by 5 inch cut piece of paper cardstock. So now we have this. Okay. So now we're going to set this aside for a moment in time while I work on owls. And this one kind of got splattered a little bit. And then, well, I had one more that was watching and then he or she disappeared on me. How sad. So we're going to fold this one in half and I'm just going to cut it at the five and a half inch line. So today I'm taking a break from Polka Dot Orchard. So I decided to do something totally different. So I'm just going to cut this in half and I'll do some stamping and, and we'll do some lunar pasting, fun stuff, all that wonderful watercoloring. So I'm going to put this aside so we don't get water all over it. And... We'll use this one. Okay, let me get my stampy thing. And we'll put this in here. That there, that there. And then I am going to use. Oh, no. Nope. That's what I thought. Some of you just have a mind of your own sticking on the wrong side. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do it this way. So I'm going to 
stamp that. Uh, 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 uh. Don't move on me, piece of paper. It has a habit of moving. Okay, don't move. Okay, so now I'm going to ink this really good with none else but Shady, Simon Hurley Shady. Bales. Oh, just Ramona. Hello, whoever you are. I hope my internet doesn't go away. Um, I know some of us that have CenturyLink, um, some of us are having internet issues. So if you lose me, that's probably why. So I will let you know in advance. <laughs> if I disappear, it's because of the internet. So... Lots of us are having internet issues in our neighborhood. Not only that, we are having cell phone problems in our neighborhood too. So, because they are working on our cell phone tower, and I don't know if that's causing our internet to go out or not, but I heard CenturyLink was down too, but so far we seem to be doing okay. But, Hello to whoever the second person is that's watching me. Not sure who you are, but hello. Thank you for watching. Usually I have more than two people in in the chatterbox. But I'm grateful for just one in the chatterbox. Do you have the lunar paste will dry out if you don't use it for a while? What? The lunar paste, if you keep it in the containers, they will not dry out at all. If you keep them sealed really well, they'll be fine, Ramona. They'll be fine. I have had mine for a while, and they're still going strong. They're doing really, 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 really good. Hi, Cordelia. Finally, yay. Somebody else showed up. Yay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So I'm playing with uh, Simon Hurley's Owl Buddies today. Taking a break from my polka dot orchard stuff. And doing a fun fold card today. And putting this on the Funful card that I learned how to make at the Card Maker's Success Summit. I was in an alt new card class earlier, then had to get vegetable soup on to cook. Ugh. I hope it's not too hot where you live, Cordelia. <laughs> that does not, I don't know. It's like, I mean, I guess it's not too hot here, I guess, to eat hot soup right now but oh you still haven't watched all the videos yet i did i watched them all last week i got them all done because i just had the free ticket i didn't pay for the all access pass because i couldn't afford it so i was like well i'll just do the free pass the free ticket and get them all done and over with Okay, um, did that smear? Please tell me you didn't smear on me. Does that look like that smeared? It did, didn't it? That paper moved on me. Does that smear? Does that look blurry? You can't tell? Oh, does that, if I hold it up, can you guys tell? Oh, it looks fine. Oh, hi, Kelly. Nice to see you. Oh, it looks fine. Huh. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe it's my eyeballs. 
So we're just going to go with that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe my eyes are just, my eyes are just blurry today. I don't know. Everything's been looking blurry lately. Oh, look at that. I forgot to get this. Uh, I don't know. It just, it looks blurry. I'm going to start all over. I'm sorry. It just, I, I don't. Maybe I put it on the wrong side of the paper. Where's my... Uh, everything moves on me. Okay. Stay there. You stay there. Now, if we put that there, you go there. Okay. Don't move. All right. Okay, you go there, you go there. <laughs> I usually don't have problems. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. Okay. Just start it all over. Yeah, I'm stamping another one because it just, it just, the first one, it just didn't look good. I didn't have problems with it before, but I don't know. Okay, that looks better. That looks much better. Okay. Let's try that. All right, ink. Be my happy friend. Okay. That's better. That's better. Much better. I like that. Okay. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Sorry. I don't like that squeaky noise. Nope. Nope. Okay. So we're going to put this one back. So now we're going to get out our... Oh, we got a stamp an owl too, you know? And we're going to go with... We're going to do this guy. I like this one. I don't know why. He's one of my favorites. So let's do this real quick. Let's stamp him over here. Oh, we have four. Yay. Hello, everybody. We have Cordelia. We have Kelly. We have Ramona. Um... Oh, so I wanted to let you guys know, since you're probably all subscribers, I posted a video the other day. I think it was Tuesday the 2nd. Um, I posted a video for all of you subscribers. Um, YouTube wouldn't let me um, post it for subscribers only, but uh, I couldn't just share it to subscribers only for some reason. Um, but if you look on my video thing on my YouTube channel, there's a video for August 2nd, I think. Yeah, August 2nd, I believe, which was Tuesday. Um, <laughs> I shared something with all of you subscribers. 
um, that I was planning on giving away, doing a drawing for all of you subscribers for making over a hundred subscribers. So I need all of you guys to watch that video and please comment if you are a subscriber to my channel so I can do a huge drawing. So yeah, so if you guys can uh, do a comment because I am doing a special drawing. Hi, Tony. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys can kind of just kind of watch that video that I posted on Tuesday and comment in the comment section um, so that I can enter all of you wonderful subscribers. Because I did, you know, I, I thanked you guys and called you guys all wonderful and awesome and amazing, wonderful people. So, but yeah. So if you guys could watch that video and comment and answer my questions or whatever I asked or whatever, I can't remember. <laughs> so, but anyways, all right. Okay, so now we're gonna do some watercoloring. I get out my watercolor paintbrush and we're gonna do some brown, some weeping willow. What? Oh, yeah, the video does say subscribers only. Yes, in the title. That's the name of the video. Subscribers only. That's the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> yep. And then... Oh, I'm sorry, Cordelia. Whoa, hello, that kind of hurt in my ears. All these notifications. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly color the owl and then we're gonna color this and if time allows. So my husband and I are gonna go out to a late lunch, early dinner. We're gonna go out to, uh, where are we going? Carabas. That's where we're going. You guys all have a Carabas where you guys live? See, now I'm talking about food. Go figure. Because I love Italian, even though I shouldn't eat too much of it. That's one of my favorite foods. I love Italian. So now I'm coloring Mr. Owl. And I always get their lasagna because it's always awesome. Huh? Oh, you like Carabas too, Cordelia? Oh, you've never been there, Ramona? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Tony knows I don't like cauliflower. <laughs> oh. mm. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Of course, sure does, Tony. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's funny. That's hilarious. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Wow. Yeah, Carabas is really good. I, I, I like them. There is a new Italian place here in Colorado called, uh, starts with an S. It's, I heard they're really good. Um, skull, I, I can't pronounce them. Called Skull, don't ask me to say it. I can't say it. <laughs> they're in the old Perkins. Um, off of 120th and uh, Melody Drive. So I'm just going to make this just a little lighter on the belly. I'm trying to hurry here. Okay, let's do his eyebrows. A little bit darker. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some of this brown here. And I'm going to go in with my pen here. And just outline some of the trees. really cool how you can add a little color to black or really dark, dark, dark gray. Really works. Amazing. Oh, good grief. Come on, notifications. Do you have to blare in my eardrums off? <laughs> I'm going to have to start turning my notifications off on my laptop or something when I'm doing my lives. Keep forgetting. It's like, goodness. I don't know. Can you guys hear that when my notifications are going off? Or am I the only one who can hear it? Oh, Kelly, you're in the UK? Wow. Oh, so you guys can't hear that? Oh, just me? <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing that you're in the UK. So you're what, late, like five, six, seven o'clock at night, maybe? Did I get the time almost right? Pretty close. Well, I'm glad you guys can't hear that. I sure can. It's uh, kind of knocking my ears off my head. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you guys can't hear it. That's why I asked. Because I was like, ugh. Okay, so I think I have enough brown there, so we'll call that good. I'm just going to use some of that and mop that up. I don't want that to go to waste. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, I forgot. I forgot. I think I have enough brown on here. Color the twig, color his feet. <laughs> there. Wash this out. And of course, I forgot to get my rag. Wipe that off. And now 
I don't know what I, oh, sitting on them. Okay, now we're going to throw in this one real quick. This one is cookie dough. Um, my Tim Holtz water with my perfect pearls because that gives it a pop of glitter. I like that shiny glitter. So now we're going to do his face. Give him a different color, lighter brown, I should say. And I looked it up the other day. Owls actually have orange eyes. Did you know that? So I'm going to make his nose orange here in a second. I'm just going to take an orange marker. Or I can do orange lunar paste, I guess. So I clean up my um, stuff on extra scrap paper. We'll just use that for another card to, or something. So now we're going to take um, some, a little bit of green lunar paste. And this one is called um, Later Gator. So I have had this for quite some time. It is still really wet in there, very liquidy, very soft. And I just make sure my lids are really tight on there. And then I put them back in my, um, in another container and I keep the lid on my other container. And then I spray a little bit of water in that to give it some, uh... you can't hear me? I have the volume all the way up and I got my microphone on. I got it all the way up. Oh, it's 9 p.m. there. Do you have your volume on, Cordelia? I can hear myself. I'm talking into my microphone. Can everybody else hear me okay? Oh, you can't hear my notifications. Oh, I thought you said you couldn't hear me talking. Oh, okay. Phew, you were freaking me out. I thought, oh no. <laughs> I thought I thought you were saying that my volume was kaput. I'm like, no, not again. Okay. Oh, phew. That's good to hear. Okay. Now I understand. We're good. <laughs> now I understand. Okay. I'm going to wipe some of this off. Get that thickness off of there da, da, da. and then we're going to turn this sideways and then I'm going to go in with some lunar paste and we're going to color some of these leaves green and just give them a little pop of green Yeah. It actually gives them a pop of shine.
Yeah. I'm just trying to hurry here, but I'm trying not to be too sloppy, but I feel like I'm being sloppy, but Yesterday, in a video that I did, I made a really messy, messy card, and I got all the stuff all over my hands, my fingers. I made a, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a design team member for Polka Dot Orchard, and I, she, uh, the gal, Jessica, who owns Polka Dot Orchard, she challenged all of us to use her one digital stamp set called um, This Happy Mess. And so she challenged us all to play with it. And I sure played with it. And I made a mess of myself and got messy all right. Okay, so there's all the green. We're good with that. Now we're going to pick up the rest of the green. Oh, oh nope. Nope. Oh, well, that's okay. I wasn't thinking. Okay. All right. So let's cut out the said owl. We'll let that dry for a minute. And all that. So Anybody else new come on? Huh? Hi, Gloria. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Have fun, Gloria. I guess you can watch the rest of this video later. <laughs> So I'm going to hurry up and cut, 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 cut. Unfortunately, Simon Hurley's things don't have dies to cut them out with. But he does have a digital stamp set that you can, um, an SVG file that you can use to scan into your scan and cut and it will actually cut these out a whole lot faster but i do not have time to play with that right now so we're gonna have to hand cut these out <sighs> of course Okay, so I'm going to try and hurry, it be too crazy long today. Of course, I forgot to do these little leaves down here. Oh, well. Da, 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 da. Shall I sing for you all? No. I better not sing. You all would probably die if I sang. <laughs> no. You wouldn't want me to sing. 
I need to figure out how to get music into my YouTube live, though. I'm not very techy at that yet. I should learn, though. Uh, oh, you're really bad at fussy cutting. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lefty, and I fussy cut with my right hand. So... That's the only thing I pretty much do right-handed, is I cut with my right hand. Only because when I was in kindergarten, a long time ago, back in 1977, my kindergarten teacher, she tried to force us to be a left, or those of us that were lefties, she tried to force us to become a right-handed. She was not going to have that. She was like, nope. But... I went home, I told my daddy, and I said, Daddy, my teacher wants me to become a right-handed person. What's up with this? <laughs> he was not going to have that. He marched into that classroom and said, What is this you trying to force my daughter to become a right-handed girl? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was pretty funny back then. Oh, they just didn't have enough left-handed scissors back then for us lefties. See, now y'all know how old I am. But I write. I blend, ink blend left-handed. And I Florida has 69 Carabas, really? Wow, that's a lot. Wow, man, that's a lot of Carabas for one state. My goodness, that's what? Almost like a ton of Carabas for on every street corner, just like coffee place places just like coffee places in Washington State because <laughs> I was born and raised in Washington State and Starbucks started in Washington in Seattle and so we had coffee houses and coffee huts and coffee joints on every street corner every block kind of like how it is here in Colorado we have liquor stores almost on every street corner in Washington State. That's about how many coffee places we had. But, yeah, it's... You'd be amazed. That's a lot of Carabas. My goodness. How many restaurants do you need in one state? <laughs> how many are in Georgia? <laughs> 13? Oh, wow. Okay, how many are in Colorado, Ramona? I wonder. Can you look that up? <laughs> I wonder how many. That'd be funny. Okay, now we're going to cut this out. I'm going to hurry up and get this card done. I feel like I'm not moving as fast as I should today, and I'm not prepared like I should be. So you have what? That is so wrong. Your teachers should encourage you to be yourself. Yes, I know, Kelly. Very true. You're right. Yep, that's how it was back in the day. Or that's how it was here in the States back in the day. Okay. Got that cut. I could have used a dye, an oval dye to cut that out. Because that probably would have looked a whole lot better instead of looking a little loopy. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. What did I do with my card? Okay. Here's my card. I think that's it. So now... Uh, I think 
we are going to real quick. What time is it? Does anybody have the time? I can't tell what time it is. Six in Colorado, that's it. And none in California, there are not. Wow. They're just not on the West Coast. Wow. Hmm. There's an Olive Garden, I know, is on the West Coast. That I know is on the West Coast. So I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my leafy stencil in here just because I think it would look good. This is my polka dot orchard. Because <sighs> I don't think Simon Hurley has a stencil that I don't know that would look good with this. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just going to use my leaf. Oh, leafy from polka dot orchard. Okay, so we're going to use that real quick. I'm going to try. I'm just going to go leafy. We're going to do leaves. Instead of doing extra paper and stuff like that everywhere. Come on. Just stay. We're going to tape this down with some low-tech tape. Hopefully... I like this pink low-tech tape that I got at Michael's last month. There's a big roll of it. Stuff will last forever. Um, ah, it ripped. Usually doesn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down in the middle. Oh, good, good. Okay, so now I'm going to use, I'm going to use brown. And I'm going to get my, do, 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 do. Oh, let's see, where is my, this one? Weeping Willow. That's it. So I'm going to go with just brown. I just want some brown leaves. I think they'll look cool. I could add some green, but we'll just call them crunchy leaves. Crunchy leaves on the ground. Okay. Of course, I did make a bit of a mess, but that's okay. We're just having fun. And it's just a fun card. Doesn't mean I'm giving this one away because I did go out of the lines a little bit. Okay. So we got our leaves. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Crunchy leaves. <laughs> okay. All right. So now... I'm going to put this, we're not going to put glue it to both ends. We're not going to do that. We're just going to put it on one side. So I'm going to get my glue, my Barely Arts glue. And, and I'm going to put my glue about right 
there. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Oh, come on. And then uh, poke that down. My lunar paste is already dry. I can rub my hands on it. it doesn't smear or anything. And then I am going to grab my orange marker and a little green and OR1 real quick and we're gonna go in and color his eyes real quick because their eyes are orange their beaks are not orange at all I found out their beaks are more grayish brown so that's why I went ahead and just watercolored his beak uh, I'm going to go in with my Apple AG1. If I can get the lid off, that is. I'm going to go in and just color my leaves with that alcohol marker. Since I forgot to lunar paste them earlier. There, there, that looks better. And then we are going to pop, prop him up with some double-sided foam tape. And get my wonderful junky scissors, which are my sticky scissors, but I like the junky name better. I adopted that from my friend Bethany just because I like that term much better. And I think we just need one little strip. Should be okay. And we're going to put him, I think, over here. Yep, that works good. I just bought several hundred envelopes at Hobby Lobby and having a clearance on all of them. Wow, that's really good. And then Yeah, lots of things are going up and they said what I just heard the other day or yesterday that there was a shortage of pulp too. So that means paper. So I'd say if you're going to get paper, you better get it now while they have it in stock. Um, so I don't know. But there is a recipe on how to make your own paper. Um, Dawn Wilcox, the Crafty Visage, um, she's doing videos now. And I can't remember if she posted a video on how to make your own paper. Um, but she uses a blender on how to make paper and stuff. But um, yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty uh, interesting. So I don't know how long I've been on. What time is it? I don't know how long, what time is it? I don't see a time. Oh, 54 minutes. Oh, it hasn't even been an hour yet. Wow. <laughs> well, I did that in under an hour. I haven't even put a sentiment on yet, guys. Do we have time to do a sentiment? I don't know. So there is the card. So I'm, I'll do the rest offline. So there's the sentiment. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. <laughs> so there it is. Open it up. And then I'll add some more stuff inside and I'll post the rest on Instagram and maybe in my Facebook group. So, yeah. But that's it. So this is called the double dutch double dutch gatefold card. 12 is a 12 by 5. So you have to cut this from a 12 by 12 piece of card stock. And I will have to tag um, 
hashtag Alicia in this too, after I add some more stuff to it, so. Oh, no, you probably don't want to make paper. <laughs> that would be gross. I mean, it'd be a big mess because you would have to get a separate blender for just paper and not use, you'd have to have two blenders. So one blender for your food and then another blender just to make your own paper. So, yeah, because you'd, she, my friend Dawn, she makes it from like avocado skins and walnuts, like other stuff. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel, I feel about messes like you do about my cauliflower. See, Tony gets me. She knows, she knows how much I just love her cauliflower. <laughs> No, she knows I don't like cauliflower. <laughs> Does Dawn have a video? Yeah, she's been posting some videos. Um, she just did a video the other day on um, a live, I guess, and I wasn't notified. Um, but she posted a video on how to make um, paper beads. For journals, quite interesting. But will I make those paper beads? Probably not, because it looks too too tedious for my fingers. Um, because I just don't think my fingers can do that. But hi, Dawn. But Dawn and um, Mary Landers makes those paper beads. And so, yeah, head on over to Dawn's channel. Um, I know she'll probably, I think she had a video on there about paper making. So for sure, if some of you want to get messy and make your own paper. We're talking about you, Dawn. Sorry. <laughs> we were talking about how there's a pulp crisis. And we were talking about um, how I was telling them that you make your own paper and stuff and so I said that you do videos and you posted a paper making video and a bead making video and stuff so I told him to head on over to your channel too you thought your ears were ringing oh and here's the card I made I didn't quite finish it but you open it up we and there's a whole panel of Crusted leaves. <laughs> Bye, Cordelia. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay. Sounds good. Enjoy your soup. Your beef soup. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, y'all. But I was talking about you in a good way, Dawn. Not in a bad way. That's okay. Oh, storms again? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we're we're about to get hit with some storms too, but we're getting ready to go out to Lunder. We're going to go to Carabas here in a few. So, um, yeah. We have B and I are, so... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I will talk to you guys all later. I Oh, you guys want to see the card I made for the craft roulette show? Or did some of you see that? Here's the card I made for the craft roulette show. Three by three. Can you believe it? Look how small that is. A three by three. <sighs> that was the project. So I made a three by three card. I did it. And then this is this happy mess that I made yesterday in a video. I did that. Oh, this card. Yeah, this little three by three. Yeah, that turned out really cute. 
And then this was also part of this happy mess, but I'm not so sure that I like this one very well. So, but I like this one much better. A very nice mess, yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, so today I decided I thought I need a break from Polka Dot Orchard, and I decided to take somewhat of a break, and then I go using one of their stencils today. The old leafy. So. Yep. I use the Stamps of Life stuff, except for the little... Um, except for the little tiny, um, the little tiny salt and pepper shaker and the spoon and the spatula that was from someone else, but I had that in my stash already made. So I just added them. So I figured it was okay. Oh, wow. Smallest you've done is a four by four. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we had to add thread or twine. And the only two colors were red and white. Red and yellow. I was like, yellow? No. I don't like yellow, but I don't mind it on a card or a flower, but not yellow in a house or on a house. But but a lot of people were doing the three by three on a normal, like say an A2 size card. They were doing like a three by three cut out or a three by three flap and stuff. But yeah, this, and I just thought I was up for the challenge and did a three by three card. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Tony, yellow and cauliflower. What shall we do with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Uh -huh. What? Just take a picture and email it. What? Huh? Oh, now you got me lost, Ramona. Take a picture and email it. What? Email, email... Email what, Ramona? Take a picture of this card? I already submitted it yesterday, Ramona. I already submitted this card yesterday. While Craft Roulette was still going, before it was even over, I submitted it. Or was working on submitting it. Towards the end of the show. Oh, yeah, I already got that done and over with you last night. Yeah, it's pretty easy to submit. So you have to submit it, not email it, but you submit it. Yeah, you submit it. Yep. So you just go to the Craft Roulette Facebook Live or whatever, and then um, they, they have a... Um, Underneath their, their website, where you go to upload it, is on the, um, underneath the, in the description. Yeah. But once you start, Ramona, you won't be able to stop. <laughs> You'll be sucked in. <laughs> no. It's fun, though. It it really is challenging though. It it it's fun though. That wheel though gets you sometimes and quite fun. So yeah. So well guys, my hubby and I are gonna go out to eat. So and I'm getting kind of hungry for some lasagna or something like that. So I will let you guys go, and I will talk to y'all later. And for those of you that are watching the replay, thank you for the thumbs up, and I will talk to y'all later. Love ya. Bye. Till I do another video later. Bye.
You're welcome. Okay, sounds good, Don. You're welcome. <laughs>